negligence and breach of the duty of care. Once a claimant has established that he was owed a duty of care by the defendant, the claimant must establish further that the defendant acted in breach of the duty of care. This tutorial provides an overview of breach of the duty of care. The standard of care. As stated in Blythe and Birmingham Waterworks, the general principle is that the defendant must conform to the standard of care of the reasonable man. It follows this is an objective test and, as observed in Glasgow Corporation, no regard ought be had to any individual peculiarities of the defendant. In effect, the hypothetical reasonable person is put into the shoes of the defendant, who is expected to have the same awareness and understanding of any risks as the reasonable person, as opposed to any specific awareness and understanding that the defendant may or may not have had. Magnitude and obviousness of risk. In determining whether a defendant was negligent, the court will also have regard to the magnitude and obviousness of the risk to which the claimant has been exposed. In Tomlinson, the House of Lords observed that it is not reasonable to expect public authorities to prohibit the harmless recreation of responsible parents and children with buckets and spades on the beaches. In order to comply with what is thought to be a legal duty to safeguard irresponsible visitors against dangers which are perfectly obvious. In Simmons, for example, a claim brought by a child against a public authority for injuries suffered when the child fell off a swing at a local park was unsuccessful given the extent to which the parents of the child ought to have taken responsibility for her actions.